Funko Monster. This is me, the Funko Monster. Today, it's Funko Friday. Weekly round. I got some pops and a couple of mystery minis. Also, just a quick note, I'm going to be posting the Legion of Collectors unboxing. I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm going to see Batman v Superman. Yeah! And IMAX. So, I don't care what the critics have been saying. This is going to be a good movie. But, uh, I did record that in this shirt. And I said I was going to wear this. And I said this might be the first video out there. Or one of the first. Eh, not so much anymore. But, that's not the point. The point is... I got some pops, and I, this was a few days ago, so I just took the shit off there. Anyways, uh, let's start off with the mystery minis. I got six mystery minis. Two from GameStop, hoping to get the exclusives. And four from uh, Hot Topic to get the ones that weren't at Walgreens. And hang on, I'm just turning up the brightness on my iPad. And... Our game shop. So I was feeling I was like, and I picked out Red Hood. I was about to say something else. Red Hood, Harley Quinn, and Nightwing. Now these were after the first one I opened, which I was like, no. Which I got poison ivy. Also, I went to Walgreens today hoping to find Killer Croc Mystery Mini. Because I'm almost done. I'm so, I'm so close. But I ended up getting a Joker. I, I, it was the heaviest out of all of them, so I was like, shit! I'm pissed! But I do not have that Joker with me. My keys and stuff. Yeah, no. I. Oh, shit. Must have fell out. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the pops. The first one, which was on actually like. Last Saturday? So the day after Funko Friday, I was expecting it to come in, but it never came in, and that is Jules from Pulp Fiction, the best movie ever. Um, paint job's amazing, I thought it would be crap. The box is awesome, I thought that would be destroyed, because they recently vaulted this pop, which... But I only need Jimmy now, and Jimmy is like... 50 bucks, I think, on Amazon. I'm gonna get him soon, so now he will be featuring on Funko Friday. But anyways, I got jewels, bro. I went to Hot Topics a few days later. Actually, no, let's keep this in order. I got the Mystery Minis, and I got this GameStop exclusive. I, I, I saw it once, and I was like, man, I don't know. I completely forgot it ever existed. The Wolfpack Sting. Um, pretty cool. I love the red. It's so vibrant. It's awesome. Uh, so Sting. This is still this is still the original number and stuff, but he, he looks fucking awesome. The next thing I went to Hot Topics, and I got. The newest exclusive, I, why do I always go like this? The newest exclusive there, it is the black and red and black Spider-Man Hot Topic exclusive. I, I, uh, I, okay, I just went into the store and I saw they were selling these mystery minis. I was like, fuck, shit. So I'm like, eh, whatever. And then I went over to the Pops. When I was walking over there, the lady said, what's up, man? I'm like, nothing much, you know, with, with, with the lady. And she's like, uh, are you here for the pops? I'm like, yeah. I, do I look like I come in this fucking store for the clothes? I didn't say that, but she's like, yeah, we just got the newest exclusive Spider-Man. So from now on, I'm going to Hot Topics every Wednesday because that seems like when they get their fucking... Shipman, and I bet you there's like 50 scalpers around that area that just go there and steal all the fucking pops. So I'm going there early in the week 
every week from now on if there's a new exclusive I want. So, but yeah, I am so glad to pick up this pop. He looks awesome. The paint job's pretty good. I don't know why they fuck up on Spider-Man a lot, but he's still fucking pretty cool. And the original too, so. Uh, also, because, okay, look, I'm going to give a little background on why I got this pop, okay? A while ago, when, like, years, a couple years ago, my mom, for six months, her voice was, like, squeaky. It was like, there was something in it. But, it was, I don't know what it was, but her voice was completely different for six months, and she sounded like this character that I got. And me, my dad, my sister, we all called her this character because she sounded so much like this character. And this character is my mom's favorite color. So I picked up Elmo. Um, I, I, <laughs> um, I remember like my dad, my mom, they told me that I used to love Elmo when I was just like a little, a little baby, but I like, I'm like, ah, I think I thought about it. I'm like, damn, I wish I liked the Cookie Monster more. But that's not the point. The point is, Elmo's this pretty detailed for what it is. There's a flopped one coming out soon, which I don't think I'm gonna pick that up. But uh, yeah, uh, they have so much shit for this. They have Super Grover. Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, Bert and Ernie, Snooper, Snuggle, I don't know how to fucking say that, The Count, Elmo, Grover, Normal Grover, and Big Bird. I want to get a, one of my teachers, the Big Bird Pop. If you're from my school, you know who I'm fucking talking about. Don't comment down below, okay? Don't, don't, you... Anyways, yeah, Elmo. And two more pops. Alright, I was gonna get uh, two of uh, this pop. Not two of them. Two of the same set. But I didn't because I was just like, you know, I'll mix and mash, you know. So the first one I grabbed before I grabbed the second one, which is still in the bag, um, I grabbed. From another Quentin Tarantino movie, I got the Funko Pop movies, 256, The Hateful Eight, Major Marcus Warren. Basically, I got two Samuel Jacksons this week. I wasn't really expecting to get, get him. And when I got in the car to go home, I realized I got him this week. So, pretty good. 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 But yeah, Jules and uh, Warren. I'm just going to call him Warren because... But yeah. Holy shit. Anyways. And the last pop of Funko Friday is a Marvel pop. I got two Marvels this week. And two random ones. But I did get this this week. This is awesome. This is from the new movie Captain America Civil War. I got the newest character of Black Panther. Alright, I guess. Okay, I'll stop. But yeah, I got Black Panther. Um, Pretty cool. Uh, there's like two exclusives of him coming out soon. Uh, they have the glittery one, which I think that's Barnes and Nobles, and the unmasked one, which is Walgreens. Um, so yeah, the background's fucking awesome. Uh, I have uh, let's see, yeah, none of these. I only have. Black Panther. I really want Giant Man. As simple and cheesy as he looks. Really? Is that a question? Yeah, I, I really want him. Crossbones are pretty cool. Uh, if I do a set review of this, it's going to have to be a part one and two because this is just, just, just a little too much. Um, this is probably one of the biggest sets 
out uh, this whole entire year, I'll be honest. Um, correct me down in the comments. Tell me if I'm wrong, if that's not true. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a monster. Anyways, just a quick recap. We got the Mystery Meaties, Harley Quinn, Red Hood, I was about to say the other name, and Nightwing. We got Black Panther, Ma uh, Major Marquis, 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 Warren, Jules, Black and white, black and red, Spider-Man, and Elma, and Wolfpack, Sting. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like this. If you like this, click the like button, comment down below what you got this week, and subscribe to see more weekly roundups on Fridays, set reviews, uh, pop hunts, um, Subscription box and boxings and so much more and there's one other thing, but that's not the point. Uh, mystery meeting unboxing. That's all I do. Like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.